Hi guys, I am coming on here to make a really really quick video about networking because this is something I feel like I can actually talk about. It's something that I had to learn as a teenager and really get over my like social anxiety to be able to get to the point where I'm at now. Um, so basically, I'll just tell my story. I grew up super shy. I was the kind of kid that I didn't even want to raise my hand in class. I literally like avoided social interaction if it wasn't like one on one. I did not want to be part of like you know, group activities and stuff. I just like, I didn't like it. I was uncomfortable. I was very introverted. And I kind of just thought like people are either born introverts or extroverts. And that determined whether you had social skills or not. And I had no clue that there was like introverts out there, like, you know, being super charismatic and crushing it in business and stuff. Um, also, sorry, my chair like goes back. So <laughs> that's a major distraction. Anyway. Um, so yeah, I was in college kind of trying to figure out what I wanted to do. And I, couldn't like find anyone that was really doing what I wanted like my professors my peers nobody really could give me the advice that I needed because they didn't have the life I wanted um and I was ranting to one of my friends on Instagram this was during COVID so 2021 and I was just telling her how I had no no idea what I wanted to do but I was trying to figure it out I didn't want to get into debt but I didn't know what else to do um and, and by debt I mean like student loans and so she was like, well, I can't promise anything, but I just, I know this lady, she's like, you know, a really successful online entrepreneur. I might be able to arrange an introduction. Um, and she basically was able to just like start a group chat. I was so nervous. I was 19. I had nothing to offer this woman. I had no clue how business worked. I literally like brought nothing to the table. Um, but I was ambitious and I had goals. And despite being shy, like I took any opportunity I could to get around people that were more successful than I was. And so I remember she set up a Zoom call and I was so nervous. I think I literally like swept through my shirt like TMI, but I was scared out of my mind because I was like, this is a successful woman. I don't want to screw this up. Um, and so wound up like really connecting with her. She was just like such a uh, positive person and really built the dream in me telling her story and like told me all about how she had built a business that allowed her to retire in her 30s. I'd never met somebody that had been able to do that. So for me, it like built the dream. Um, and so she kind of just took me under her wing. She was like, I'll, I'll help you figure it out. I'll help you, you know, figure out what you want to do or whatever. And she, she recognized that I had some confidence to be built. So her assignment to me absolutely freaked me out. But she basically told me, I want you to go and start conversations everywhere you go. Every single day, you have to have a conversation with at least one stranger. And I was like, what do you mean? Like, who, who does that? And I mean, I, I know, I know people that do that now, but at the time I was like, that's just bizarre and uncomfortable. And I don't know what you mean. And I was just like, you know, not, not interested, but I looked at her and I wasn't, I wasn't going to really critique her because she had the life I wanted. And so I kind of was just like, okay, you know, I'm just going to blindly trust this. And oh my gosh, it was so awkward because I was just such a shy person, but I would say hi to the cashier or I would, you know, say hi to the girl waiting in, in, you know, in line for the bathroom on, you know, the boardwalk or wherever I, anywhere I was like at church, anywhere. Um, I remember like giving blood work once and I, I connected with like all these people and it was really awkward at first, but I did it every single day anyway. And slowly but surely, I became way more confident in, like, my, my just social skills, my ability to have, you know, small talk and, and, do, and, you know, just, like, initiate those conversations. And they became less and less awkward, you know? Shocker. And, but, like, the point was, even through the worst of it, like, the most awkward moments, I was still doing it every single day. And flash forward, I did that for a year um, and I, I wound up meeting some really cool people. So, you know, initially I was just complimenting, you know, I compliment a girl on her shoes or I, you know, thank the cashier for what they're doing or thank someone for their service. If they were wearing like a military hat or something. Um, and then I wound up like, just like having deeper and deeper connections with people. And like, we'd, we'd get talking. I remember this one lady, I met her at TJ Maxx and, um, you may have seen her on my podcast. Her name's M. She was the first podcast I released. And I, I think she was shopping for flowers and I like asked her where she got them or complimented them or something. And we started talking about how she had just opened a flower shop and she told me she was new to the area, gave me a business card and we wound up getting coffee cause you just got along so well. Um, and it's crazy now she's like one of my first clients. So you never know where one connection is going to lead, but just like getting out there, getting out of your comfort zone, you know, so many people, they like walk around and they see people with like a pair of shoes they like or gorgeous hair or something. And they like think they think it, they're like, Oh my gosh, that person has amazing hair, but they don't say it. And it's like, 
just like get out of your comfort zone just be like oh my gosh i love your hair like what products you use or something you know like let that person know because you're building your own confidence you're making their day better you're adding value to them that always comes back around but like most importantly you're building up that like skill set where then when you're in a room and you need to network with people you're in a business conference or a networking event you have that ability to go and initiate conversations and carry a conversation and that is so essential in careers in business like every single connection or every single opportunity i have every single job i've had has come as a result of a connection I mean, like my first job i was an executive assistant and the way i got there was i had interviewed for a job in insurance which i was not qualified to be like like an agent at an insurance company but i interviewed anyway getting out of my comfort zone and they didn't hire me but i made such a good impression they referred me to this company an interior design company where i became an executive assistant and uh, i i was assistant to the vp and like that was just because i had made a good impression and i had kept in touch with the people at the original place um obviously like i just told you the story of that woman i met at tj maxx I, one of my best friends i met in the ice cream aisle at a grocery store because we were, we bonded over melted ice cream she was wearing a paramedic jacket i comp or i thanked her for her service and we wound up staying in touch my dad was a firefighter so i always thank people for their service and we just exchanged contact info and she literally was at my house last weekend for dinner and i've known her for years now so you never know where a connection like that might lead but just like starting conversations will build that ability to like connect with people and network and that is the most influential thing in your career in your business like being able to connect with people changes the game so I hope that's helpful. I don't know. You know, maybe that's what you need to do is just go out and start conversations and just start building up that skill set. That's just my story of how I went from being super shy, literally wouldn't even raise my hand in class, to, you know, now being very comfortable in my own skin and very comfortable talking to people and I really just like was missing out on a whole world of connections and relationships that oh, that now um are a part of my life because I start conversations and because I have that skill set and I've, you know, built that comfortability with just initiating conversations even with total strangers. So, hope you guys have a fantastic day and yeah, that's my story.